Hey guys, it's me Asin today, and I'm bringing you the third tutorial for the player system. So, in this tutorial, we'll be covering for the player to climb up walls, ledges, like, you know, climb up some obstacles, or whatever you want to say, jump up, something like that. So, so what we recently achieved in the last tutorial was, like, this character running up, and you can just move away, move all the way, and, uh, I'm sorry. You can and uh, that was pretty cool. So, and I also wanted to give you some thanks for correcting. You know, the headlock controller. There was some problem for the aiming. So, you know, you you should change it to spine and spine one. Basically, this these two things, spine and spine one, should be signed. And uh, you should also add a non-affected joint, which effect should be 0.5 only for the spine. So. Yeah. So now let's just uh, get started with it. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating a cube. So basically, this cube is gonna be more like the thing which we're gonna climb up, an object. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit like that, and a little bit like that. So we're just going to scale it up to as as much as you think that your character should climb up that much big object. So I'll say my character should climb that much big object. If you see then, you know, I playing the game and you see it's pretty big object and it's not not like climbable for like jumping up or anything. So um let me just change the cam camera color and this isn't necessary but this for now. So let's just um, start at, go ahead and start creating. So we're just, we're gonna name this to floor first. I'm sorry I forgot to. It's gonna be floor and this is gonna be called um, a wall basically. And we're gonna create another object for, to which our character will hold up and will get up there. Okay. So basically uh, another cube. So you can just see that there is a cube. There is. So make sure that this point, the middle point of the cube, is where your corrector should go. Means that when your corrector will come here, he have to jump up and climb the ledge. So this part is the one which your corrector will move to. As you can see there, the avatar target handlers, the ledge climb. So for the ledge, the left foot will move to this point, this middle point. So we're gonna just uh, go ahead up there and uh, place it to the place where we want him to climb up. The mesh renders shouldn't be there uh, and there is no collider necessary so I just take out the mesh render. This collider is necessary for one function. You might want to make it to trigger. It is not a trigger in reality. You can also make it like a box collider. So we're going to make this collider down so that the player can see the collider. Means he can reach it. He's near the collider. And we're also going to make this layer to it to be the ledge. You can just go add layers. This is just the 30th layer and then 31, 31st. So, and I'm going to name this to ledge. And just going to parent it to the wall. Not necessary, but yeah. And then we're gonna, you know, move this uh, cube down there, somewhere like there, maybe. Yeah. And it should do it. Yeah. Not too much down. A little bit so it's up. And I also like uh, the x-axis to be that. The y and the x are all right. So just gonna move the cube. So as much you want the player to check that from where he can climb up that ledge. Alright, that is okay. So basically what what the player is gonna do here is he's gonna hit, he's gonna ray cast, cast ray, and he's gonna check if that ray hits an object named ledge, not named with layer of ledge. So if it does it returns successful and with that it's gonna able to climb up 
it's gonna make well well you true if you're hitting it you press the button it's gonna go do that see that yep works fine yes you also need to set up the ledge a little bit so I'm gonna make it a little bit there and a little bit up I'm um, sorry okay so yeah and uh, what was that sorry so um, I guess the collider is a little bit too make sure the collider is a little bit out so that the player can reach it you don't really need to make it a box collider even though you can make it too much out you the player is also having something called you know like wall check wall check is something else the climb check distance um, it was lead check I guess uh yeah let's check so it's about five meters a big value i'll say three so um, let's just see here make sure this you know you're gonna see this on ledge so you can see there it hits it when the moment it hits it it assigns the grab point to that hit coordinate and you can just see the let let check is just done and you can just press button left click and you can see it reached up and works just fine and I guess I will uh, like to add a few more lights or I like to yeah I like to add a few more lights uh, because it's a little bit too much that I'm not able to see I mean so that there's there are more shadows and I just like to make it a little bit bluish sort of you know sky sort of effect so yeah now um, I'm gonna try to give it another try so there it is yeah, so you can just see it, it just works fine, and you can pretty much do it all for everything. I'm sorry for that. You know, you might wanna edit the uh, what is it? Yeah, go jump force. I'm sorry, it was said five. It's just one point one. Uh, it shouldn't be that much. And I'll also edit the jump force to be two hundred. Yeah. So let's see. He jumps pretty all right yeah that is it so you can just pretty much see and notice that everything just works fine so this is first for the ledge uh... and uh... yeah and then let's just uh... get on and start off for the other thing which is the wall run <clears throat> so we'll make this whole thing a wall run so we're just uh... gonna unpair the ledge make this wall a little bit big or like that much or like a little bit m more big or uh, let's say that much yeah it's pretty big <clears throat> so you this time this is the thing which is gonna depend for that you're just gonna parent it in the wall I'm gonna name it to wall run you know the wall run animation isn't so good I made it it is so good but yeah it's okay you wanna change the letter to wall climb or I guess not the layer, you want to change this to wall run. Default, the wall climb isn't needed here in the tutorial. Maybe in the upcoming ones, or maybe no. <laughs> because that isn't so cool. That is still in development, so you must pretty much not mess up with that. Alright, so we're just gonna make this so that it is like that much a trigger, which will enter and it'll just move up you're just gonna add it to the point where you want it to be again I'm adding to there let's just give it a try, it's not gonna be so cool because it's yet not fully ready when it will ready you'll see it's gonna be cool and let's see try to give it a try so you see on um, that's the on ledge I guess uh, I just made a problem sorry it's gonna take that out I'm just gonna click on it. Now let's see. Let's assign it. No. Oh no, that wasn't cool. Yeah, so it just works fine. We're gonna now be using this. Yeah, again, duplicating it and activate it. Put it inside the wall run. I'm gonna make it exactly the position 
for that I'll just uh, reset it put it inside of the wall run just reset oh sorry reset that yeah and put it there and just gonna um where is it oh man it's just like so much I mean out of colors sort of seems bad sometimes okay just gonna make it to layer it's gonna make it out of there a little bit down there let's just give it a try now oh yeah I forgot another thing I always forgot now you're gonna give this to ledge not that just gonna make it a default just gonna run up the wall didn't just run up too nicely. I don't know why. Yeah, that that is okay. So let's just check it now. Yeah, so you can just see it is it is like that. So that is how you can run up a wall or climb up a ledge or things like that, you know guys. <laughs> You know, you you should pretty much, uh, you know, make this a little bit so it's a little bit inside. You'll possibly get it still. So that, so you won't like climb up it again and again. And yeah, that is it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching. This was. Our system tanks and uh, just and just for fun, we're just gonna be doing some things. And sorry if it is a little bit laggy because it isn't. It isn't really laggy, but because of the recorder, just oh, oh. Let's just, uh, yeah, and um, this for fun too. I'm just gonna go ahead to the gun. I'm just gonna duplicate it. You know, make it that it's the same gun. Just gonna go there, make it to be shotgun. You can just see shotgun. And pellets per shot 10, damage 50. Where's the force? Force, yeah. 800 <laughs> it's gonna be fun bullets per magazine yeah sure oh yeah uh, I again forgot you know the video tutorial is already and it's just for fun you wanna see it you can see if you don't wanna that's on your own so yeah that's pretty much it just wanna change the weapon index Why, man? I don't know why it's just going back. Well, whatever. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye bye.